Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and we are in a different location. This is the second background I told you guys about. It's not like finished. I'm like tweaking it but this is my desk and I don't know I feel like non book related videos I'll film in front of here but I'm still working on angles and I don't know I, I'm not I'm not sure on this one. I'm not sure on it. I'm a little, you know, I don't, I don't know if I love it. I really like the bookcase right now, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this background because I'm not sold on it yet. Maybe when I have more things behind me, it'll look better. I, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not 100% on it, but Today we have another haul. I know, I feel like I just did a haul and I hope you guys aren't super annoyed by it, but this isn't about books, this isn't about makeup, this is about clothing and specifically horror themed clothing from Cavity Colors. If you haven't checked out Cavity Colors before, I highly recommend it. They have some really cool designs and I've shopped from them. This is what, my third time I believe? And I've had really good experiences so far, and I just really like supporting horror businesses. This is my uh, stack. I was gonna say little stack, but it's really not little. This is a lot of stuff to have bought in uh, one go. But uh, to be fair, to be fair, they recently just had a sale. I, so, you know. I got a lot of the stuff discounted, but also the reason for this purchase was because my birthday was the 20th of March, so a few, a while ago. It wasn't that long ago, but it feels like forever ago now. And this was my second birthday during the pandemic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit special for myself, so I decided that I was going to buy myself a birthday outfit and usually when I buy myself birthday outfits it's a really cute outfit it's like a going out looking cute that kind of thing this time I decided I was going to buy myself a comfy cozy movie watching outfit because that's what I did for my birthday I watched movies I ate food and I stayed inside <laughs> so I was like you know what I've been wanting some stuff from cavity colors here we go. So the first thing I bought is, okay, I'm obsessed with this shirt. I'm obsessed. It is a Candyman shirt. This is from the second movie, Farewell to the Flesh, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, Farewell to the Flesh, it says it right here. But I really, really like this design. I really like that the sleeves are this like mustard color. It just adds so much to it. It's a very soft and comfortable t-shirt. I wore this on my birthday actually because I watched Candyman on my birthday. I watched all three of them and it was a great time. And this is probably a hot take and people won't agree with me, but Candyman 2 is my favorite movie out of the three. I think it's the best one and I prefer it to the other two, which I know is a controversial opinion but um I like the I like the first one it's just I like number two better I think it's a better movie so don't hate me for it okay it's my opinion you can have a different one but Candyman 2 is superior and for cavity colors all their t-shirts are uh, at least their short sleeve t-shirts are usually about $27 so just in case you want prices. The second shirt I got, um, yes, it's another Candyman shirt. And like, you know, I would say that I'm being crazy about Candyman, but honestly, it's a movie that is so underhyped, in my opinion. So underhyped. And look at how cool the shirt is. Oh, I love it. Look at, look at the, look at the details. Look at, look at how cool he looks. Ugh. I love Candyman. I love him so much. I don't think people talk about Candyman enough. I know that they're releasing a new one this year and Jordan Peele is the one doing it and I am so freaking excited because if anyone can bring Candyman back with a vengeance, it's gonna be Jordan Peele. So I'm very, 
Very excited for the new Candyman. Very excited. Next up, we have a Creep t-shirt. I also really love the movie Creep. I think it's really, really fun, and this is him wearing his peach fuzz mask. You know, if you've seen it, you've seen it. There's a big pile of blood. The axe, you know. I really like the Heather Gray effect. I really like gray, so I kind of like that this is a, a bit different. Ooh, it got dark. Ooh, I really like that it's a bit different, and yeah, I just really like the movie Creep, and I really wanted this t-shirt, and yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Another, I don't know if this is a hot take, but Creep 2 is not as good as Creep 1. I, I liked Creep 2, but... It just doesn't compare to Creep, the original, like, there's just, it had, it had a, it had something about it, you know, it had that, that wow factor, and then Creep 2 just kind of lost me. I don't know if that's a hot take, I don't know if that's, like, super controversial, I'm not really sure. I don't really know anyone's opinions on Creep. Do people like Creep? I thought so. I'm not really sure. I don't hear a lot of people talking about Creep. The next shirt I'm about to show you is kind of the reason for this haul. It's because I've been eyeing it for so long. I wanted it so badly. And it is this really friggin' cool Killer Clowns from Outer Space t-shirt, but it's like tie-dyed. I love anything tie-dye. Um, I'm a big tie-dye fan. I don't really know why. Uh, I just really like well I, oh my god I'm wearing tie-dye how weird uh I did not do that on purpose but I am, I'm a big tie-dye fan oh my god I can't believe I'm wearing tie-dye that's so lame but kind of on brand for me but down here it says trapped in a cotton candy cocoon very cool and I think this is called the blood swirl I believe or something like that <laughs> I just really like it. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I think it's really funny and it's silly and kind of dumb, but in a really good way. So I really just wanted this shirt because why not? And it's tie-dye. So you can't even get any better than that. Um, hello. That's like the best kind of t-shirt is tie-dye. And in case you guys were wondering, I buy all my t-shirts in a size large. That's just pretty much my standard size. I really like a baggy boxy fit. I don't like my t-shirts to be tight or form-fitting. I really like unisex men sizing for t-shirts. Um, it's just my preference. So I wear a size large because it's just it's just a teeny tiny bit baggy on me but it's like a comfortable baggy you know so i usually always go with a large next up i bought three pairs of joggers from this site because i love sweatpants and especially because of what's going on in the world i don't really wear regular pants anymore i'm pretty much a sweatpants wearer 24 7 because i don't go out uh i stay inside my house so there is no reason to wear you know actual pants like jeans Ugh, gross the times when i used to wear jeans i can't can't talk about that ew gross but i decided to get some more sweatpants which is kind of annoying because it's about to be april and i know it's going to get warmer and i'm not going to wear them as much but whatever it doesn't matter the first pair i got are these creep joggers and I love them. I love on this leg that you have the ending scene to Creep 1. It is probably one of my favorite endings. It blew my mind when I saw it. I loved it so much. It was so crazy. And then on the other side, you just have the title Creep. And you have little draw drawstrings. I almost call them drawl strings. But, you know, elastic waist. And then cuffy cuffy little pants at the bottom um i really really like the quality of their joggers they're very they just feel very good quality they don't feel too thick but they're not thin at all they just feel kind of perfect you know like a kind of perfect um thickness 
and they just feel really, really good. And they actually have a butt, little butt pocket in the back, the little butt pocket, you know? So you can put, I don't know what you'd put there, snacks, chocolate, probably that's what I'd put in it. And then of course they have the side pockets like regular normal pants do, you know? I don't know why I'm doing this, like you can see. These pants are completely black and it's like, I don't know if you can even see that I'm putting my hand in a pocket. I, I don't know guys, okay? I'm sorry, this is probably the most dumbest, dumbest? <laughs> this is probably the stupidest haul ever and I don't make any sense, but um, yeah. And I got all these joggers in a size medium because I actually bought these <laughs> in a size large because I, I usually wear a standard large bottom and top that's just kind of my sizing especially if it's unisex the larges were way too big I mean they were they were big I just hated the way they felt so I actually gave them to my boyfriend and um, I bought myself the mediums and yeah because I wanted them and I'm sad that I had to give them to him so I rebought them in a medium so all the joggers are in a size medium and it kind of just like goes together with the shirt. I feel like I'll just like wear them as like a matching little set. It'll be really cute, you know, during my movie marathon of creep. The next pair of joggers I got are killer clowns from outer space themed. So on this leg, they have the like logo. I don't know why I stuttered so hard. And then on this leg, they have all the clowns. I just love that. It looks so cool. I really like how they pop on the black. I don't know. Ugh. This is very difficult to show you guys. I hope you guys can like see what I'm showing you. I just really like how they pop off the black. It just looks really, it just looks really eye-catching. And again, I'm gonna love wearing this with my Killer Clowns shirt. It's gonna go really cute together. I'll be a little matchy-matchy girl and it's gonna look great. Again, they have the elastic waistband, drawstrings, pockets on the side, little pocket on the butt, and then they have the little cuffy bit. So, very standard. They feel exactly like the Creep ones as well. They feel the exact same. They don't feel any different at all in quality. They feel the exact same. And lastly, I couldn't pass these up because they were discounted really uh, well. I think the joggers are usually $40 and these were around 20 I believe. I don't really remember, to be honest. These are from Halloween 4. So this is what the one side looks like. You got a little Mikey Mike. And then on this side you have Michael and Jamie. Jamie is in her clown costume. I really like it. I know a lot of people hate number four. I don't really know why. I like four and five. Uh, they don't really bother me. I mean, I think they're a little odd. <laughs> I think a lot of the series is kind of odd, but um, I don't hate them. I think they're fun. I'll, I'll still watch them. I'll watch any Halloween because it's a Halloween movie, but um, yeah, I mean, I don't hate them. So these ones are actually a little bit different. You can see the drawstring is white and they feel different. These are actually a lot softer and I think that they're a lot thinner. So I'm wondering if these are their old jogger material pants and those ones are their new ones but they still have the little cuffy bit at the bottom. They still have the pockets on the side. They do not have a little butt pocket, so that's missing on this side. But otherwise, I think they still feel really nice. They just feel different than the other two pairs, but I think the ones with Halloween are one of their old styles, and the Killer Clowns and Creep ones I got are their like new style of joggers. Either way, I'm happy to have all of them. I really like them. I'm excited for them and I'm gonna wear them all. That's going to do it for my little cavity colors haul. <laughs> I feel like this was kind of a hot mess but also I just really wanted to show you guys what I bought because I thought it would be fun. I have been thinking about doing a t-shirt collection, a horror t-shirt collection video. I don't really know how I feel about it because 
I think I have around 27, 28 t-shirts and one, I could never fit that many in a video. Two, I don't know if anyone would be interested in it. And three, I, I don't know. It just, I, I don't know. I just don't know if people want to watch it. So if you would like to see a horror t-shirt collection video, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do it if people want to see it. I just don't know what people's thoughts are about it. So, you know. Just let me know your feelings on that. Let me know if you liked this kind of haul. I don't know. I feel like it was kind of all over the place, but it was still fun. So you let me know what you think about that. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you enjoy from me. That way I can keep providing you with that kind of content. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We can become friends and talk about horror, movies, makeup, books, all kinds of things. I do a lot on this channel, so hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a really great week. And I will see you on Friday with Book Review Friday. Bye!